Hello everybody, welcome back to the High Voltage server. This is the captain speaking, and today we're going to play with some zombie villagers. So if you've watched one of my tour videos of my base, I showed off the fact that I found a zombie spawner in a mine shaft, and what I've gone ahead and done is I've cleared all this out and set up uh, redstone lights to keep them from spawning. Um, well, at least for the time being, when I want them to spawn I can actually um, flip the switch and make them spawn. But the purpose of this is to uh, spawn zombie villagers, which I can then cure and move to my village. So I'm going to show you quickly just how this works. When I actually do get a zombie villager to spawn, what I do is I open this doorway for them, and they can walk on in. I used to have a villager inside to act as bait, but he vanished one day, so that was unfortunate. But what I can do is I can lure them myself in. So I'll stand here and wait for them to come in. And usually I can hit the switch and trap them in before they wander off again. So then, once I have them in place, I can hit them with the potion, give them the golden apple to cure them. And then I hit this lever to move this piston forward. And what that does is make sure that they're standing on this, um, this one by one slime block here, which I can then tap this button and launch them up and that will push them into this water elevator and that comes out not far from my village and I have a rail system set up so that from there I can take them um, all the way to the village and that's where they'll uh, finally be at home. So I've had this set up for a while I just didn't have uh, a village built, I want that closed rather. Um, but yeah, I didn't have the village built, so I wanted to wait until I had a few buildings up at least for them to uh, to hide safely in. So I'm at that stage now, so I'm actually going to see if I can get some uh, zombie villagers to spawn. And I will need to have on my person some of the materials to cure them. I hadn't thought of that before. Alright, so I'll keep... I'll keep one on me, because I should only get one at a time. I may have to find some more apples depending how this goes. So yes, I hit this switch and the lights go out. And I've already got some spawns it sounds like. Yes, just a single one. Nothing special. So I can either kill them by hand or I also have a little kill switch here. It's useful for burning up the items too. Um, I put it here because when I had the, the zombie vill- or sorry, when I had the villager in there before they were instantly drawn towards him but um, with this opening here, they'll still walk towards this corner. It sounds like I have... There might be spots of this, uh... The mine shaft around that haven't been completely lit up. So what have I got now? Just a regular zombie? And chainmail. So if I wanted the chainmail, I could get in there with the looting sword. Have a better shot at him dropping it. But still nothing. I don't want the zombie flesh. Alright. And just a plain zombie. Alright, I'll try one more time and then if I don't get a villager, I'll have to, uh, to cut for a bit until I can get one. That's really gonna bother me having the random zombie noise. Oh, there's another spawn. What have we got? Okay, two regular zombies. Alright. So I'm going to cut it here, and uh, I'll be back with you guys when I do manage to get a zombie villager. Okay. So I finally managed to get myself a single zombie villager. And he's all armored up, so that's good news. It means he won't despawn on me. So I can open this door now and lure him in. So hopefully he stays in place while I hit this lever. Correct. I can push him forward. And now I'm going to cure him. Perfect. 
and now we just wait for him to change. So I'll go ahead and cut to that, and I'll see you guys when we've managed to save this guy from undeath. Alright, so we are back, and you can see that my villager friend is feeling a lot better. His complexion is a lot nicer, and he's uh, not nearly so poorly dressed. So he looks like it's a farmer type. Let's see what we've got going on here. And he's a fisherman. Okay. That's not bad. I've got plenty of string laying around he can have. And coal. And, uh, hmm, fish. So that one's not so great, but he's got some good trades. I don't know anything about the new villager breeding mechanics, though, so I don't know how good he is to use for that. Regardless, though, I'll go ahead and I'll show you the next step of the plan. So, as I mentioned before, he's standing on a little slime launcher. So what I do now is I tap this button and he shoots up. And he will climb the water elevator until he comes to the part where um, I have it set up to um, get them on the rail. So I'm going to go ahead and just walk up there myself. This is pretty much the longest part of the trip, is the ladder up, because it's just a few blocks to my right, actually. But I haven't set up an alternate uh, way up just yet. Alright. I... Wait, what? Why is there... Where did that rail go? That's weird. I should probably put pale, ah, power rail there anyway, but um, that rail was there just before I started recording, so something strange has happened. Oh well, it might work better this way. I actually already have levers in my inventory. Of course I have levers in my inventory. Why wouldn't I? Okay, so the next step of this plan is to get him to come up just slightly higher. So I hit this button, and I get the water flowing. I hit this lever. And I get the uh, the block under his feet. So now he's standing safely. Um, I slap down a minecart very quickly. And then I hit this lever to push him into it. He wasn't it. Guy, why you do this? Can I pick him up now? Wow. Really? You're going to do this to me? You're going to be like this? You Get in the minecart. Dude, seriously. Okay, I'm going to have to... Ugh. I tried this before I started recording. I've actually made this work once, but this guy is just... I don't like him. Oh, he's a bad guy. Don't... Aw. Oh. Dude. 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 No. Dude, get. 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 Yep. Get in the minecart. Get in. Perfect. I'm just getting a bit of a push. So that was a lot more of a fight than it should have been. The last time I did that, well, I've only done this once. I shouldn't just say the last time, but um, the practice run I did, it worked smoothly. But of course, you know, you turn on the camera and uh, things are bound to mess up. So, we break this now. And he should figure out pretty soon that this is a village and he'll go run inside. So he's actually, they're chilling out at the general store right now. This is the first guy I got, the test guy. He's a librarian. So, I haven't showed this place off in a little while. My Mob grinder disguised as a windmill. Um, I built a few little villagey houses in here. I've had uh, Paper Heart come over and help decorate. The interior is the one I've built. Uh, and she built that one and that one, I believe. So she helped me put up a few. She's really good at the villagey houses, so Just seems like a good plan. And you can tell whenever you look at the ceiling if it's hers or not, because there's usually a really nice patterned ceiling with a light going on. Whereas mine are much less so. 
But this one's nice, it's got a sunlight. Uh, this one I built, it has a bit of a, a bedtime loft. And it's got a beautiful little back deck that faces the water. And of course my my general store there that the villagers have claimed as home. And a uh, little other one I built. I think when I was laying out the uh, the plots for builds, I, I may have crammed them in a little too close together. So I'll have to keep that in mind going forward. So I still have some more buildings to build over there and in that direction. And at some point I'll make my, my fountain fancier than just the cobblestone. But I've got another little building here. It's mostly a basement build. And yeah. So this is what I've been busy at building lately. When I'm not off adventuring, which I mostly am. So I'll have to figure out how to breed those guys, but I think what I'll, I'll do actually is I'll probably get a few more villagers from my zombie system. And then I'll see about breeding them and figuring out which ones are better for trades. Um, the fisherman we just got is really good. I could trade him the useless string and coal I have laying around and get some good emeralds. Um, I've also got a backlog of uh, emerald ore I can break up and I can maybe put that to good use in getting them to breed. Oh, so the other good thing about this is it's, it's a really easy system to reset. So the main thing you have to do is make sure that you turn off this water before you try pushing forward. Otherwise it'll destroy the source block. But um, for this one here, this was a water block originally. So when I hit this lever to open this again, whoops, I just double tapped it. Uh, you can see the water returns instantly. That's because I put a source block on either side, so it becomes an infinite spring that will always replenish um, this source block, despite the fact that it's constantly destroyed whenever I close the uh, the piston. So I thought that was a pretty cool piece of engineering. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and just jump back down the water elevator, I think. You get a sense of just how high up I'm coming from. Because I'm quite a ways down now. And this is why I, I don't want to cure uh, baby zombies, because I have a couple of gaps here for where my redstone wiring needs to run. Um, I ran the redstone before I did the water elevator, so uh, I didn't want to have to completely rewire everything once I put the, the system in place. But it is how it is. So I pull that piston back so I can open the door when I need to. And I will grab a another potion and another golden apple. And I will see you guys again once I've managed to cure another zombie villager. All right, so I've managed to cure myself another another friend. This guy is a uh, blacksmith, or I guess armor. So he's got another coal trade. I don't think it's quite as good as the fisherman, but uh, it might be useful for getting uh, getting some uh, breeding going on. And for armor for an iron helmet. So not bad. I may have to actually set up a small blacksmith shop for this guy to, to reside in. Um, I hadn't thought of building one of those yet, so probably should do that. Hey, pal. Hmm? Who's got pretty green eyes? Who has? Is it you? Okay, I should stop. Cooing the villager, maybe. You ready to go to the surface, pal? You like sin away. I've got to get a cooler way up myself. They get this awesome, like, slime-launched water elevator, and I've got jumping blocks and a ladder. <laughs> how primitive am I? But you know what? It works. And I don't know how many more I'm going to want to cure because eventually I want to be able to start breeding them and um, I don't know how many I need to have cured before I can do that. I should probably be good now. This will be the third one I move over and there is uh, already a cured zombie villager, which is to say a regular villager. 
um, over there. I've got him hiding in a little uh, safety hole. So this will be the fourth uh, villager to join the fray. So that might be enough to actually just start breeding. But I wanted to show this off just one more time. So again, he splish splashed him down there. You just raise him up. And you close the floor. Turn off the source. Place the cart. And then watch as he fails to be pushed into it. Oh no, that worked, see? That's what it's supposed to do. You can hear the amazement in my voice. I was completely shocked that it actually worked the way it was supposed to. So that's good stuff, and it's always night. I don't think I've managed to uh, to move any of these uh, villagers without it uh, being dark out. Yep, now he's going to boogie on over. Is the librarian gone? Librarian's moved into a new home. So that's cool. I think he moved into the one house that doesn't have any books. Oh, this one doesn't have books either. So that's cool. I've got three villagers now. That I've managed to save my spawner. And I also, like I said, I have a fourth one. He's chilling out under there. It was just a random zombie villager that approached me one time, so I cured him. This guy's an armorer as well. More or less the same thing, so I don't know how useful it is to have multiples of the same type, but I mean, time will tell. What I may want to do yet is maybe I uh, get myself a an actual farmer so I can have them do automated breeding. But maybe I can just uh, maybe I can just get one through breeding the guys that I've got. Oh, chase is out. So I was the only guy on when I started, and now there, there were three other people. Frats and Dino are still on. Oh. I didn't think that out very well, did I? Alright, retract. And retract. And it's good to go if I want to save somebody else. So that's good. My village is coming along. I've got a, a small villager population now to, to watch over and to try to keep alive. And hopefully maybe even I can get them to breed and increase the... Uh, Increase the number of villagers I have to rule over from my high and mighty perch. I'll give you guys a view of the uh, the village from up here. It looks pretty cool from up here, I think. It'll look even better once I clear out some of the extra trees. Um, looks like there's a bit of a bromance going on. Don't mind the chat too much. I try not to. <laughs> Uh, that's the one thing about the Voltage server. When there are people on, there's all kinds of crazy crap going on in the chat. Um, it's just a little odd for that. For once, it's not me. But I think that's enough for today. I just wanted to show off some of my cool contraptions for saving zombie villagers and uh, give everyone a sense of how my little village is coming along. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you have any uh, suggestions or requests of things you want to see on the server, you can let me know and I'll do what I can to accommodate them. So, hope everyone has a fantastic day. Take care and goodbye.